Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the dumbest modeling channel on all of YouTube, Pitstain Hobbies. Um, oh, Lieutenant Commander Schwartz here reporting in the Enterprise is a mess. No, um, we, uh, we started with a, <coughs> with a previously started model from somebody else. Uh, we actually got two previously started models. The first one was a total disaster. Um, and this is the second one that we got in a little horse trading. Um, and, uh, yeah, we have, uh, we have, uh, issue two, um, stage three, four, five, and six. Now, because this thing was already built, eh, it's going to be a little weird me putting it together until I get to the unopened packages that I received in this, uh, previously started model. Uh, but first turn your attention to, yes, the, and the Ian screwed up stickers. I don't want to say the pit stain screwed up stickers, whatever. They're available. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, below there's my email and then also click on the fan home links in the description. Uh, follow them to check out the model. Please, please click the damn links, everybody. I'm kidding. Um, either way. So we got this thing. We actually got, um, our first pack of parts, um, for the continuation of the build from fan home recently. So I'm very excited about that, but I've got to catch up on a lot of stages of building. So that being said, uh, we're going to dive right into it. Now, these manuals are fine. Nothing really wrong with them. Um, and they have all the cool, you know, the cool trivia info and behind the scenes. I love all that stuff. I really do nerd out on that. But we will be using uh, the PDF um, that are PDFs that are they're floating around on the Facebook groups and the uh, MyEnterpriseD.com website to know what we're doing. So stage three, we're supposed to put this whole thing together. Well, it looks like somebody already did that. Um, not much to it. Pop a couple LEDs in, a few screws here and there, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, one thing you do need to do is you do get this little circuit board with, with uh, stage three, and uh, the other end of this wire apparently went to the battery holder, and the previous builder of this model chopped it off. Um, but since we know it takes three triple or whatever, double A, three 1.5 volt cells, we can hook her up, okay, and turn on our power supply, there we go, and I think I should still, yes, I have it set at 4.5 volts, and the nice thing about this is you, uh, you, you have to test all your LEDs, God forbid you get a bad one, you want to know right away, contact customer service, and have them send a replacement part. Um, but we're going to go ahead and turn these on and both the lights light up nicely. So that's great. All good there. And we want to test every LED like that. Okay. So since that's stage three, and that's pretty much, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me scroll through these instructions here a bit. Yeah, test the lights. Uh, we're gonna go test the rest of our lights, actually. Um, there we go. So we did, we do have our, our bridge here, and we're gonna go ahead and plug these in to the board. Make sure you get the orientation correct, uh, otherwise you could damage the pins and we'll Hit her on, and look at that. There we go, looks good. Looks really nice. All our lights are lit, one, two, and then the front and the back. And we did a little Sharpie marker action there on some of the windows just to uh, give them a little bit of uh, some kind of play. But yeah, okay, overall, looks good. You're gonna wanna look at this model in like Hold on, let me try some overheads. Turn these off real quick. Yeah, you're gonna wanna like, you know, you want it in a dimly lit room, like any part work. The lights on YouTube, you know, on, on cameras, the lights are a little blown out uh, by the camera, but in person, they're very nice and subtle. But, you know, you don't wanna look at this thing under uh, the high noon sunlight because, you know, some of them aren't gonna look as lit up as others, but it's meant to be looked in like a dimly lit romantic environment just you and the model soft music playing in the background preferably the soundtrack to the show and there we go enough of my ramblings 
Okay, so we know our, I don't know why I unplugged my testing board from my power leads. I'm gonna need to use this thing like a million more times because there is so many LEDs in this kit. And uh, we do have the capability to repair busted solder joints if needed uh, because I don't have a recourse. I bought this thing started, so I can't go asking for replacement parts. That would just be wrong. Uh, but I have two started kits, so I have a whole bunch of spare uh, LEDs uh, on their little harnesses, tons of them, more than I will ever need. Uh, so that's what we're doing. So next up, uh, stage four. So a good chunk of the saucer I got from the starter kit was already built, so I dismantled it and I bagged and tagged all the parts so I'd know, you know, what I'm looking at here. But here we have uh, some some exterior hull panels and escape hatches and other things. So we'll be um, we'll be doing those. And uh, I got extra escape hatches right here in case I need them. Um, from another stage. I have so many spare state parts, it's ridiculous here. I can screw up a lot and, and not be painted into a corner. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, some we're gonna get get these little uh, these little lifeboat pods put into place and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got all of our little escape hatches and our black and our clear windows and I electrical taped over the hatches and the black windows, um, partially to hold them in place and partially to avoid light leaks. And I took a little blue Sharpie to a couple of the windows, just like my friend Todd did on his website. I'm mimicking his build pretty much step for step. So I just, I just used a little, little Sharpie marker there. Um, brush tip. Ooh, fancy. Nice. Uh, so yeah, we did that. Uh, on to the next exciting step of uh what is that uh u309al u309al and we got to take one of our lighting harnesses and put the leds in it and then sandwich it down so Wish us luck. A lot of people, I think, glue these in for some reason. Uh, oh, before we do that, before we do that, we must test the lights because, you know, this is a bit of a fiddly job. Both lights are working. Fantastic. Um, and you don't want to have to go back and do it twice. So we're going to get these little, get these little LEDs in here. Let's see if we can do this without having to glue them. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely possible. But um, if you're Butterfingers like I am... Wait, I think I got them. Yep. Yep, we got them in, and I, I got buckets of these little windows from all the dismantling I did. So I just put them in little containers. And once we get that on, we need to put on a few screws. And then these are BPs. And just, just ever so gently screw these things in. You don't need to manhandle them. Do not over tighten them. You don't want to do that. Just until they're snug. That's all you need. That's it. Okay, I'll be right back. Alrighty then. <clears throat> all of our little windows are in. Our escape pods are in. I did use Mike Lane decals just because I like them. Um, I think only one repaint of the studio model for the movie or something had them maybe uh, or whatever. But let's plug her in again, carefuling to get the orientation correct. And yep, they light up. Both of our lights are lit. Uh, again, you know, you're going to get the best effect out of this in a, in a fairly uh, 
softly lit room. So on to the next one. I'm not going to bore you with that. It's more of the same. We'll be right back. And one more panel done. I resorted to actually using a little bit of solar res to glue my lights in. I just put a tiny little drip in there and then I hit it with the UV flashlight and it just holds them in there and it's optically clear when it dries. And there we go. Another panel done. Looks fantastic. This, you know, you'd think this is, it's not hard to build. It's like, you're like, oh, this is a small, this isn't all that much work. To, it's a lot of work. I mean, you put in all these little escape hatch things and everything, like it's, it's a freaking decent amount of work. It's not to be laughed at. Um, we got to do this last panel here and get all these um, installed. This one already has the, the phaser strip on it. Uh, I think that comes in a later a later issue, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Either way, um, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna get these these the this thing populated with its little doodads, and we will be back momentarily. Okay, <clears throat> stage four is done. Here we go. Do not over tighten screws. Tighten them snug, but not tight. You can see there's like a little bit of a gapage there, but this will all pull together when you bolt it to the superstructure, to the metal skeleton. That's all gonna, that's all gonna come together. Now we've got to put some more bits around our, uh, <clears throat> bridge. <clears throat> Hello. For stage five. <clears throat> so I only got really three parts and some screws. Got these little wingy, well, four parts and some screws. Those little things, yeah. So we're gonna, this is boring as hell uh, to show anyone on camera. Okay, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna screw some things in real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, friendly reminder, use your three in one oil on metal screw, screws going in the metal. Um, so we get these, these three parts on here. You notice there's a little bit of a gappage there, but it looks like when you bolt everything down, it's, it's probably, I gave them a little bit of a, a push to try to line them a little better, but they're probably gonna line up perfectly. And you can also see our main shuttle bay door is bolted on there. So this part's substantial. This is gonna be one damn heavy model, just heavy. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's really, that's it. That's it for uh, stage five. So uh, let's go look at uh, six, skeleton, okay. When I get to a stage like skeleton parts, we have something that we did not assemble, uh, disassemble. Well, we didn't assemble it either. So the person I got this from already got fairly well into the build. And uh, I just have to go through the skeleton, I think. And I just want to make sure all the screws are tight. Most of them are, but some of them you can, I can get like a quarter, quarter turn out of them. But uh, overall, yeah, um, we've 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 already got a built skeleton, so we're not going to really worry about that. But we would be working on a the front section here, and uh, once we have the skeleton done, it's on to uh, well stage seven, which is not part of this. This is three, four, five, and six. Issue two. So there we go. Um, but yeah, this section, you would be assembling a little piece of the skeleton. There we go. So we've got these, these, this fella's done. Our battery box is MIA, so we're hooked up to the power supply. And this. Very nice. Um, not really difficult. You can see my little, see my little magnifiers poking in there. I can't see jack squat up close anymore. Um, just take your time. Uh, I decided a, a little dab of clear UV resin to hold the bulbs in place when trying to mount the panels was a good thing. Oh, the other thing that I, uh, I'm going to start doing, I think, is a wee bit of electrical tape 
uh, not just on the backs of the uh, the black windows, but for but for the uh, for the reflector panels where panels meet. There's, I mean, there's a, there's potentially a couple of areas for light leaks on the model coming out between the panels, which, you know, we, we, we want to avoid. And, uh, mind you, Fan Home did not design this model. This was all Eagle Moss's work, uh, in the design phase. So we really can't hold them at fault for anything in that vein where we go, oh, you could have done this. You could have done... No, no, no. We want to just get a little bit of electrical tape in there. We'll just... I'm just bodging it in here, kind of. I don't know what the proper slang term is. But uh, it's probably easier to do this before you bolt the panels together. It's definitely easier to do this. I'm trying to, like, fish it in after the fact is a little tricky, but yeah, you just, just a little electrical tape and you can put it on like up to here ish. And that will, uh, help prevent any leakage of lights from between the panels. Um, not a mod, just a, uh, optimization. That's all I would call it. And that's that for, uh, for this, for uh, issue two of the Enterprise D. Again, links to Fan Home in the description. My email's in the description. Like, subscribe, comment, get a free sticker. Maybe get a fridge magnet if you have an amazing tip or you crack me up with <clears throat> something funny. Because laughter is the best medicine and I need a lot of it. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time on my holodeck of shame. Bye-bye.